if you send something from your personal computer you have to use your student ID and you just swipe it on this machine and it gives you option if you want to print or copy and if you want to print you just press print and then the machine will print all your documents and everything however if you want to scan something you still use your ID and you swipe your ID still and you choose copy so that's the other option and when it, when it comes to copy it depends on the type of document you want to copy if it's just like papers that are not going to tear you use the top part which is easy you just put the documents into the paper and then you press that and when you press that the documents will go through and it's going to scan it and print it up fully and so on so you have two copies however if it's like a fragile document that you're not sure if the machine is going to show you that you use this part this part is like the scanning and then you have to position it in a string and then you have to make sure that you close it all the way and then you press that and it's going to scan it it's going to If you want to scan something into it, your own USB, you have to put your USB in this section and then you have to select scan and then when you select scan you have like options which you can use and you select USB and you have to save your file with a certain name so you can have you can change the file name and we can just say barrier that will be the file name that you use barrier and then you say okay you have options for the file format it's either tiff pdf which option you want you can select pdf if you want it and it can be single or multiple so you can select okay and then you can press scan and then the machine will start scanning them and it will scan it straight to USB so you don't have to have like hard copies. When printing something you have options of choosing the kind of paper you want to use. You can either use just a normal size paper which is 11 by 8 or sometimes you have like a special kind of paper you want to use. You have another option of using this bypass fade. So you can just press the bypass speed and it will select it and you use that section to put on the bypass speed and it has like instructions on how to use it like one to three. So the best thing you have to do is you have to open it and then this section is for the paper. And it has like measurements like you cannot put more than that. And then you have to make sure that this fits on the paper because it resets the scan so you can make sure it's not legal or oversized and then you close this and then you can come back and press that and then it will use those papers instead of using just the ones that have been provided here. In the screen there you have other options like on how you want your text to be. You can either zoom your text up if you want it to be like a little bit bigger or you can like just zoom it down. You have that other option or if you want to print on both sides of the paper or on one side you have this simplex where you can pick one sided or you want to be double sided or you want to split it up another option you have is to change here do you want it to be just text or you want it to have like photo you have that option so also you can change the light and like how the paper appears it can either be a little bit darker or you want it to be a little bit brighter so you can read the text. It depends on the material you want to print or copy. So you have the option of making it a little brighter or a little bit darker. Those are options you have to use. Just have to like look around the buttons and see the ones you want to use and just use it.